Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's in because it is apparently fast discharging. So I've charged it up to about 24%. Just want to see how fast it uh, loses a percentage. Sitting here basically doing nothing. You're probably not going to be able to see it, but... Well, I might be able to set it up so you can see it. Let me see. There we go. So we're at 24%. So it just dropped. See how much long, how long it takes for it to go down a full percentage. Again, <clears throat> we're not putting that much strain on it, just flipping through menus here. I have suspicions of what would be the problem, but I want to, I'll definitely want to look at the board and look it over and make sure there's nothing obvious going on. I'm watching the time of this recording. So far we're at 213. And there was a little bit of intro there, so under two minutes. Now they've tried this with a new battery. They've done, this is from another shop. So it's been returned several times with the same problem. They've done the due diligence of trying with a new battery and all that stuff. So all that's been done. Okay, this one's taking a while. Okay, so it's lost two percentage points in a little under three minutes. So I think that's a little bit fast. We'll open it up. We'll take a look and see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay, I have it partially disassembled. Let's take a gander around. Just see if we see anything obvious going on. Maybe some liquid damage or something of that nature. What in the heck is this? Well, I do see some liquid damage there. There has been liquid in here. Let's see if we can get that end cap cleared off so we can make sure we're getting measurements out of that. You may have to take a look at this rail. It was charging both rails, so I think it's probably okay. But still, any little thing could be causing a problem with quick discharge. It seems partial short or something of that nature sometimes. All right, we seem all right. Don't think that was shortened to anything, so... Flip this lid up, just have a look. I yeah, don't think anything got in there. Nothing obvious at the moment. Mm, there was a little bit of liquid here too. Just a little bit. Again, I don't think enough to cause problems. Alright, we do have some liquid, obvious liquid there. And it is connecting a coil and a cap and more liquid here and more liquid here okay so that is probably causing our problems if i were to guess yeah if i were if i were to guess so we have a we have corrosion connecting here we have corrosion connecting here we have some corrosion here there may be some corrosion under the buck regulator i believe it is the buck regulator can be very problematic when it gets liquid around, let's look around our BQ. Okay, so I think we've got our problem. I think what we'll do is pull the board, give this area a good clean. We may, yeah, we'll probably give the max a refill because that corrosion is definitely under there. And we'll give all this a good cleaning in, in, in this area. And then we'll look on the other side of the board too, just to be thorough. And go from there. Okay, we have the board out of the housing. We can get a better look at everything. 
Uh, looks like we got some liquid around these connectors. That would probably be wise to clean off. Just so it doesn't sit there and just corrode through the board. Go ahead and get that off of there. Everything else looks alright. I'm going to leave the liquid there for the moment so we know what we're dealing with. Getting a good look through everything else again. Let's take a look at the other side of the board. Particularly in the area. Okay, I don't see anything concerning. I got a little dip there. Nothing too bad. <laughs> Looks like we might have gotten just a little bit of corrosion there on that there chip. I mean, just a light bit of it. But, light bit. Come back to haunt you. Yeah, look at these uh, test points. Not in particularly good shape. Scrapey, scrapey, scrapey. Get all that off that we can. Get in between the legs here. As best we can. I'm just getting flux in there with that side. Not the goal. Alright. Got a meeting in 10 minutes, so I'll have to pick this up in a bit. Now let's go ahead and get all this corrosion out of here. If we can. Before it causes future issues. Alright. Satisfactory, I guess. Let's take a look around see if we see any more. Everything else looks pretty clean. So I think we have our area of concern. And that would be this guy here. Our Max 77621AEWI. And that is a three phase book regulator. As I've come to learn, I'm not going to claim to be any uh, genius on that. All right, so we had connection here, and we definitely have connection there. So we're going to get, get in there and clean that real good. And then we'll give the max a reflow. We also need to check these guys, which we can do right now. I'm having the watch clock here. See if they are salvageable. If the end caps have not been eaten all the way through. I think they're okay. Yeah, I think we're probably okay there. So yeah, we'll give this a good cleaning uh, when we come back. And then we'll reflow the max just to make sure because that does look like some liquid was able to get under there yeah definitely it definitely was so we'll give it a reflow just to make sure a flux and boil let some flux get under there and boil all that stuff out and i hopefully we will have solved our problem okay meeting is over back to what we were doing which is going to be cleaning up this Max 77621AWI area, our three-phase buck regulator. Uh, first thing we want to do is clean it out a bit. So I think we'll grab a brush, see if we can get some of this corrosion out of here. We've already scraped our end caps and stuff back. We want to get all this corrosion out. Okay, let's switch over to our temps while I get everything turned on and set up. Fume extractor. I mean, we're just reflowing a chip here. We're not doing any major surgery. So all we're, all we're going to be using is the Atten. I don't anticipate having to use the irons. Oh, God. I really hate when I drop things. <sighs> Uh, switch gloves, switch you back, switch microscope. 
And I think we'll just use a big tip there, but I'm gonna pull it off and flip it over. So I ain't gotta contort this thing into a good position. So you can see it up there in the left. I'm, I'm just changing the nozzle so it's facing up. And we wanna be on the right temperature. And I'm gonna grab my tweezers. We might wanna give it a little bit of a nudge. But really what we want to do is boil flux under there, under the under the BGA, and get any corrosion out of there that may be there. We want this the flux to dance. Well, I hope that's good enough. We'll check it afterwards. But right now I'm going to do a rapid cool. Yeah, it's got a big ground plane on directly on the other side of that chip. So <laughs> it takes quite a bit to get that thing flowing. All right. That's clean. So I'm going to off screen, uh, power up my air compressor and I'm going to give this a good blowout and make sure I get it, direct some of the air under the BGA because I want to get most of the flux out of there too. And we'll be back with a test. I just want to see how fast it's discharging now. All right, uh, real quick, let's go ahead and get you a, a good visual on the, on the chip good as I can anyway so the corrosion's gone and hopefully that will solve our problem we'll find out okay we have it together enough to test uh, shoot. did not put the back plate completely on but we're going to time it by the recording here I just want to make sure we're not discharging quickly. If you remember at the beginning of the video, we discharged like 2% in under 3 minutes. We want it to be better than that. We're not putting any strain on it, we're just trying to keep it from going to sleep. Started about 11 seconds in, so... Okay, we're at about 1 minute now. And we're still at 30%. We're going to go to the three minute mark like we did before. So it'll be about 311. Okay, we're now at a solid two minutes. And it just now dropped down 1%. Okay, we're at three minutes. We've only dropped one percent. I'll let it go one more percent and see how long we can go here. Two percent. All right, we're at four minutes. We still have only dropped one percent. So I don't even know if it was fully charged at that 31%. So. But this seems pretty normal. So we're now at 5 minutes. We still have only dropped 1%. So I'm pretty... Alright, and now we've dropped our 2. So it took over 5 minutes for it to drop 2%. I'm pretty convinced that we have solved the problem on this one. That's pretty cool. So let's go over a summary. So in summary, we had uh, the case of fast discharge. It was uh, doing it on its old battery. It was doing it on a new battery. It came back to the shop several times. 
uh, presenting the same issues. We tested it and confirmed that it was doing that. It was uh, losing 2% in under three minutes. I'd say probably maybe about two and a half minutes. Um, we opened it up. We found small, small spots of uh, corrosion around the board, but specifically concentrated in the uh, max uh, buck regulator, uh, three-phase buck regulator area. Uh, some had gotten under the chip, and then some were in between the caps and a couple of coils. Uh, we cleaned that area up, and we flux and boiled the chip, and we appear to be back to normal discharge rate. If you have any questions about the equipment I used in this video, they're down in the description below, uh, all linked down there. Um, if you like this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, hit the subscribe button and maybe the notification bell. And uh, you'll see when I post videos, it's usually about two a week. Hey, and if you know somebody who needs Nintendo Switch repair, you know, hit the share button and share this with them. All right. Uh, that's all I had to ask of you. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.